money. But unlike man's other great inventions, money is immaterial. Maybe that's why we don't often think of it in the same breath as some of the other great inventions. Things like fire and the wheel are tangible, but not money. Money is merely an idea, an illusion whose value is non-existent, only determined by the importance we place on it. Or at least money as we know it today. However, the fact that money is an illusion does not in any way undermine its importance. Before we created money, we were forced to trade goods and services directly in what we refer to as the barter system. People exchanging goods and services for other goods and services in return. Because there was no arbitrary value placed on these items, every single trade was determined by what each party was willing to give up for something that they wanted. It was kind of like a game. If I wanted some of your vegetables for dinner, but I only reared cattle, I would have to give you one of my animals in exchange for a bag of vegetables. If I wanted shoes to wear, but I only made tents, I would have had to give you an entire tent in exchange for a pair of shoes. And immediately you can already see one of the major problems with this system of trade. It's the asymmetry. As a tent maker, there's no way I wouldn't feel cheated having to exchange an entire living space for simple footwear. Because there was no standardized medium of exchange, it was very difficult to get two people who needed things from each other to come to an agreement. Having to wait until a double coincidence of once where two people need the exact opposite thing at the same time was also very difficult and inefficient. And that wasn't all. You see, our money is not only a medium of exchange, it's also considered a store of value. And before the invention of money, some people could never store their wealth for no fault of their own. Think about the farmer who sells tomatoes and the man who makes tents. The man who makes tents can create an entire village of real estate and barter it out with anyone who needs a place to rest their head all year long, and he would probably cash out on that. But the farmer who sells tomatoes can only barter when tomatoes are in season, 